In this video, we're going to multiply and divide rational expressions. There are two steps when multiplying rational expressions. The first one being factor. And the second one, cancel. So if factoring is not good for you, you really, really need to practice it before you try this stuff. So let's go right into factoring. We're going to factor each numerator and each denominator of the rational expression. For instance, 4x squared plus 8x plus 3, the first numerator, factors as 2x plus 3, 2x plus 1. Barely made it there. x squared plus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square. That's going to be x plus 1, x plus 1. x squared minus 5x minus 6, that's going to factor as x minus 6 x plus 1. And lastly, 2x squared minus 11x minus 6, that's going to factor as 2x plus 1, x minus 6. So that's step 1, factor. And now we're going to cancel. You're allowed to cancel up and down and diagonally. You can never cancel across. So for instance, notice diagonally we can cancel one of these x plus 1s with this x plus 1 in this numerator. Up and down, there goes these x minus 6's. And also diagonally, 2x plus 1 and a 2x plus 1. Please be careful and write neatly while you can. You don't accidentally want to draw a line through something that is still part of the answer. Notice we're left with the factor of 2x plus 3 over x plus 1. Now this is the answer. Some students make the mistake of canceling the x's and you can't do that because there's pluses here in the numerator and in the denominator. So this one's done, 2x plus 3 over x plus 1. Now when you divide rational expressions, there's just one extra step in the beginning. That is to flip and multiply. I'm just going to rewrite the whole thing. x squared minus 4x minus 5. This first fraction does not change over 3x squared plus 4x plus 1 times the denominator becomes the numerator 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 over x squared minus 5x. So now this problem is like our previous example where we were just plain old multiplying. So the two steps follow, factor, cancel. X squared minus 4x minus 5, that's going to factor as x minus 5, x plus 1. 3x squared plus 4x plus 1, that's going to factor as x plus 1, 3x plus 1. 9x squared plus 6x plus 1, that's a perfect square, 3x plus 1. 3x plus 1. Now the one comment I want to make is you could have written this as 3x plus 1 quantity squared. However, it might be easier to actually write out the factors for canceling purposes. But either way is correct. x squared minus 5x. Well, don't freak out that there's only two terms. Remember the first term in, Remember the first rule in factoring is to pull out the GCF. Notice both terms have an x, so we'll pull that out and we'll be left with x minus 5. It's all factored. Let's now cancel up and down and diagonally. In the first fraction, the x plus 1's cancel. Diagonally, an x minus 5 cancels in the first numerator and an x minus 5 in the second denominator. And a 3x plus 1 in the first denominator cancels with one of the 3x plus 1's in the second numerator. Notice that's all we can cancel. So upstairs, we're left with a 3x plus 1. The parentheses around the 3x plus 1 are completely optional at this point, because now there's only one factor upstairs. And we're left with that x from downstairs. And as I said, do not cancel these x's, the 3x and the x. It's illegal. Um, cops will come after you. I've seen it happen. Just leave it alone. And the reason you have to is because there's an addition right here. But that's it for multiplying and dividing. For multiply, factor cancel. Divide, flip, factor cancel.